Travis Scott's concert in Fortnite was a massive success, and like Fortnite always does, they slipped in a ton of mini Easter eggs and secrets in these events. From new swimming abilities we've never seen in Fortnite that will likely release soon to a secret 99% of players didn't notice, here are 10 secrets you missed in the Travis Scott concert. Make sure you subscribe or else your game will freeze right before the concert. I'm not joking, this literally happened to me on stream yesterday. I wouldn't risk it. Number 10, the chapter one map. One of the most talked about secrets on social media and YouTube right now is the big island that you fly over during the final moments of the event. If you glanced at it, you might have just thought it was the Fortnite map from high up. But if you look closely, you could actually spot the lit up locations that are very clearly old POIs from chapter one. It becomes pretty clear that we are indeed flying over the chapter one map during this part of the event. But what's even more cool is that it practically confirms that the old map was not destroyed during the end event. Instead, it seems we were probably sucked into the black hole and then transported to another island. But the chapter one map seems fine. Not only this, but the locations are actually lit up. They never did this originally, meaning Epic lit them up on purpose to tell us that the people are still inhabiting the chapter one island, even though we aren't on it anymore. Now there is the argument that they're just reusing textures, but they added the lights to the buildings and specifically chose the chapter one map over using the chapter two island. So there must be a reason in my opinion. In fact, this entire event has ties to the chapter one storyline. So make sure you watch the whole thing. We got a lot to go through. Number nine, the unreleased song. If you weren't a fan of Travis Scott before you watched the concert, you definitely wouldn't have known that one of the songs he performed was actually the first time he ever played it to the world. It was a song with Kid Cudi called The Scots, and it came out today after being debuted for the first time during the concert. If you didn't know, it's a song that plays during the space scene of the concert when everyone's just flying through the clouds. It's actually the first time Kid Cudi and Travis have worked together in six years, and it's called The Scots because they both have Scott in their names. Other than that, the song is out now if you want to listen to it again or tune into the concert tonight. They're happening all throughout the weekend. But let's loop back to the chapter one storyline. I want to really get into that right now. Number eight, the storyline ties. The entire concert completely paralleled the events of chapter one. Don't believe me? I'll prove it to you. If you watch the concert back, you'll notice a lot of weird things that seem all too familiar. Firstly, when Travis makes his entrance, he travels from Astro World to the island in a similar fashion to the rocket launch event. Then with the fiery explosions, it's a reference to the volcano event. Afterwards, we fly over the chapter one map surrounded by comments, which is a reference to the meteor. We also have the speaker core of Astro World glowing purple until it eventually explodes, which is obviously a reference to Kevin the Cube event. Once the core explodes, we are shown the butterfly rift, which is what happened after Kevin originally exploded, and finally we are shown a black-blue light that is almost exactly the same as the one we saw during the end event. Yeah, it is not a coincidence. Epic purposely referenced all of Chapter 1 during this concert, and it's quite interesting that they would go out of their way to do that. What's even more interesting is that an hour after the event ended, Chaos Agent was added into the item shop with the caption, The Master of Chaos Strikes Again, and a picture of him with no mask on. Obviously, we'll come back to this in a storyline video, but if you've been following it like like we have, you'll know what this means. Number seven, the secret variant. The Astro Jack skin makes an appearance a few times during the astronomical concert, especially during the underwater sequence when he's drowning. However, the actual skin has a variant called Sicko Mode. If you look closely on this variant, you'll spot a very familiar looking island on his helmet. Yeah, I think we can all start seeing a pattern here. Looks like Fortnite really is trying to tell us something about the chapter one map. I just don't know why, because we haven't really had any leaks teasing at its possible return. On the other side of Astro Jack's helmet, you'll see the chapter two season one map, which could be a potential hint at being able to switch between them in the future. I mean, honestly, who knows? I'm kind of just speculating here, but there's no real evidence of this. It's just super interesting that Epic keeps teasing us with the Chapter 1 Island for no reason at all. Or is there a reason? Number 6, Skull Trooper. You might have just spotted a familiar face during the cool underwater scene in the concert. While a lot of us were staring at the large Astro Jack falling from the surface, there was actually a Skull Trooper roaming around on the floor. Could be a simple cameo, but it's a bit weird that it was one of the few skins that made an appearance in the concert. Like, why Skull Trooper? Are they teasing that he might be coming back to the item shop this year? If you didn't know, Skull Trooper is one of the most iconic skins in Fortnite, which is probably why he was in the concert, but he was also one of the most hype skins to ever re-release in Fortnite history. Back in 2018, Skull Trooper was all anyone talked about, so if he comes back again this year, he probably won't be as hyped as before, but he'll definitely get picked up by anyone who missed a chance to cop him. Number 5, The Epic Game Secret 
Okay, here's a little insight if you'd like to know what goes on behind the scenes at Epic Games, and I thought it was really cool. I really wanted to include it in this video. We don't exactly have a look at the actual making of the event, but there might be a reason for that because this concert was made and controlled entirely, you guessed it, from home. Yeah, that's right. Epic Games did astronomical while working completely from home, which is just a testament to how talented the devs are. If they made one of the craziest live events we've had to date while working from home, imagine what they could do in full force at the offices. I think we've had some amazing live events that are now possible because of the new physics engine and what they've achieved with Astronomical. When what's happening in the world right now cannot even stop Epic from bringing us amazing experiences, you know that we've got a good game on our hands. Alright, here's the thing, I can't wait to see what they bring next because the co-founder of Epic Games said after the concert that there were lots of fun new things coming to Fortnite and that we should stay tuned. I mean, this is direct reference to we're probably going to see a lot more of this very soon. Number 4. Submerged Underwater Swimming Ability Swimming is easily one of the best features ever added to Fortnite. It's allowed us to move around the map faster, make some insane plays, and overall just enhances the gameplay experience, especially when the whole map is literally surrounded by water. But did you catch that moment when you were completely submerged during the Travis Scott concert? That's right, for the first time ever, we actually got to swim underwater in Fortnite. Never before could you do that. This could be a huge addition to the game, and it would be incredible to see an underwater POI that looked like Atlantis or something like that. Not only did they add fully submerged swimming, but they also updated some stunning fire and explosion animations that are going to make for crazy events in the future. Fortnite is revving up their engine to do all sorts of things. We're really excited to see what comes next. Number 3. The Player Count just in case you thought the RIP Fortnite hashtags and the people spamming Fortnite's dead actually meant something, Astronomical proved everyone wrong, like they always do. In fact, Fortnite is actually bigger than it's ever been. Epic Games even went on to state that during the first show, over 12.3 million people logged into the game and watched it together. That's not all, because viewers on Twitch peaked Fortnite at 1.3 million viewers, and on YouTube it peaked at 1.7 million. That means at least 16 million people tuned in to watch Travis Scott's performance. In case you didn't know, the player count figures for the Marshmallow concert in Chapter 1 hit 10.7 million players at the time, which means Travis Scott's Astronomical broke the record for the highest concurrent player count in Fortnite's history. I'm not gonna lie, the concerts really are an experience like no other, and it's pretty much a guarantee that we'll have more in the future. Who do you guys want to see perform live next? Make sure you comment down below. Number 2. The Butterfly if you've been following the storyline since Chapter 1, then you probably noticed the butterfly riff during the event. The butterfly riff first appeared at the end of Season 6 when Kevin the Cube exploded in front of millions. This caused all of us to be transported into some kind of limbo until a giant butterfly riff formed and teleported us back to the island. After soaring for minutes through space and time itself while experiencing the concert, Fortnite ended the Travis Scott event by greeting us with that same exact giant butterfly rift, which sort of acted like the light at the end of the tunnel. This is now the second time we've used the butterfly rift to get back to our island Island, and it seems to be becoming a major piece in the Fortnite storyline. I'm sure we'll all travel to the butterfly dimension again in the near future, but only time will tell. Obviously, we have a couple honorable mentions. First one goes to the real life merch. If you enjoyed the visuals of Astronomical, or you really like Fortnite and Travis Scott working together, they actually released some real life merchandise of the concert, including action figures of Travis Scott and Astro Jack. I'm not joking, you could also pick up a Nerf assault rifle with the Travis Scott wrap, and a ton of clothing with designs on them like the Rage emote and Travis Scott skin. You can buy all of these on Travis Scott's website if you want to check it out, although they will probably sell out pretty quick, so I'd hurry up if you want to cop anything. Moving on to honorable mention number two, we have Fred the Loot Llama was spotted in the concert. During the part of the concert where Travis tilts the map and flips it around, you can look in the background near the Astro World planet and spot a ton of llamas climbing invisible stairs. It's kind of like a uh, blink and you miss it moment, but pretty cool nevertheless. I guess Fred didn't want to miss out on the action and I wouldn't either. Finally coming in at our number one spot, we have the OG Fortnite music. Now the original score made a special appearance moments before the event started, and if you're an OG player, then you know that the original lobby music is one of probably the most nostalgic sounds in all of Fortnite.
Nothing could beat the feeling of booting up Fortnite in the early days, and this small musical cameo was perfect for setting the tone before the concert. Playing that nostalgic track and then jumping into a crazy event like this was a really great touch by Epic. The original theme music paired with all the nods to chapter one has gotta mean something. Will we see the original map return? What do all these ties for the event mean for the story? And will we be visiting the butterfly dimension again? Fortnite is really keeping us on the edge of our seats. This has been Tommy with Top 5 Gaming. Click on screen now to see another one of our secret videos. I'll see you guys there.